Hello and welcome back. This is video number three, and we're going to talk about why most one time offers are not converting. And the reason why is this will help you pinpoint the weaknesses and that will help you create better one time offers. So before we can jump in and start mapping things out, you need to understand why they're not converting. All right. So understanding this will allow you to get a better perspective of why your one time offers may not be converting. So you can make it better. So otherwise, you know, if I just jump straight into showing you how to set up smart one time offers, what would happen is you would be blindly guessing and we want you to be successful. All right. So that's why we've kind of uh, mapped this video course out as it is. So most one time offers don't convert simply because they are unrelated to the front end offer. And now while that does seem like a no brainer, that's a very, very common mistake. And that's fine if you, that's that's you. That's totally fine because now you can improve it. But think about it for just a second. Let's say that you bought a course on how to save taxes. You're presented with a one time offer, which is another course, which is how to run your business better. All right. And I've seen this. I've seen hundreds of one time offers, hundreds and tons of funnels. And, and this has happened. And yes, while they are related and you might have some folks buy into it because they are related, they do run a business and most of the time business related taxes. If it's personal taxes, obviously it's not related, but if it's business taxes, then yes, it is related. And they might buy into that. You might get one or two or a few people, or even sometimes you might even get like 5% and buy it. But the fact of the matter is, yes, they are related. And you might have some people buy it, but it doesn't exactly solve the person's initial problem, which is related to taxes, business taxes, let's say. So a lot of times when people build funnels, they start with lead magnet first, then they build the front end offer, and then they build the one time offer. But if you think about it, if you do that, it's very, very hard to build exactly what people want going to have to do it backwards and I'll show you in just a minute. So this is wrong and I'll show you why in this mind map. Okay. So I'm in lucid chart right now and a typical or traditional funnel looks like this, or it's built like this. Typically you start obviously with the lead magnet. And then of course you do a front end offer. And a lot of times, if you think about it, let's just do a lead magnet for the sake of the whole funnel. Of course, you're going to have several different lead magnets because you're trying to build your list and lead magnet. If you aren't aware of what it is, it's just a freebie that you're giving away for free in exchange for somebody's email address. So the goal of this is to build a list of people who eventually want your funnel, right? Now, a lot of times people will just think, okay, what's a good lead magnet that I have, or what can I put together? and they'll just slap it together. And the next thing is they'll put together a front end offer and they're thinking, okay, this is a really good front end offer that I, I can put together. And the next thing they'll do is they'll think, okay, uh, what kind of one time offer can I put together? And a lot of times they'll, they won't even think about it. They'll just say, okay, I've got this thing. Right. And then they're thinking, okay, maybe I got to put another one time offer. Number two, that's just a good offer. Right. So my point is not a whole lot of thought is put into it, or maybe there is a lot of thought that is put into it, but it's just random. Right. So the majority of one time offers and the whole funnel is usually created this way. And by doing it this way, kind of in a very random way, this is actually not good for your funnel because you, how do you know if the progression from here will lead to here. Meaning if somebody buys this, how do you know that is going to be exactly related to this, exactly related to this and exactly related to this. So that's what happens when you move from the front to the back. So with the smart OTO, we use a different method, which I'll show you in just a minute. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.